Hello everybody, in this Rhino video tutorial, I would like to talk about array basics. Okay, let's start. Basically, arrays are methods of duplicating objects in a structured manner. <coughs> they are part inside here, so you can press and hold to pull out the array toolbar. The two most commonly used are array types are the rectangular array and the polar array which I will uh, demonstrate okay so um, let me start by demonstrating the rectangular array okay okay I want to duplicate using array uh, this this sphere okay so um, let's click on the rectangular array so as you select object to array so this is the object enter so we ask you number in the x direction. Okay, the x direction uh, is denoted by this direction. Okay, x indicated by this uh, indicator here. Okay, so I want to have uh, let's say six. Okay, enter. Bear in mind that when I say six, right, it's inclusive of the original. Okay, this one. Okay, then number in the y direction. So the y is this direction. Okay, so it's going up here. So let's say I want three. Okay, number in the Z direction. So the Z direction, as you can see in the front view, is this direction. Okay, I do not want any in this direction. So you can leave it as one. Okay, if you do not want to have any along this direction. So I just press enter. Okay, then it asks you for the unit cell or x spacing. Okay, so let me do a demo. So let's say this is the first location, and then this is the second location. So if you are happy with this, you can press enter. And you can see we have successfully created a rectangular array of the sphere. Okay. Okay, what if you are required to place your object in an accurate manner okay i want to uh, show a demo to illustrate the, the workflow that I, I use to place object uh, in an accurate manner when using an array basically uh, you can use uh, construction lines to allow for the snapping of the locations okay so let me demonstrate this let me just delete this. Okay. Let's say that uh, our requirement is for the spheres to be placed um, five units apart in the x direction and four units apart in the y direction. Okay. So uh, with that in mind, we can start to do our uh, construction lines okay so let's say I have this okay and then you can use the offset command okay it's either offset or you can just use the offset curve as well okay to do the necessary offset so as I mentioned I want to be uh, having uh, the X direction array to be five units so I click on this and change it to five okay so you can click on this yeah so so this is the uh, first direction then let's repeat the offset and in the y direction I want to be four units so click here change it to four okay so we have like created like the necessary uh, construction lines okay okay now let's uh, put that the sphere so with this kind of uh, method of uh, producing array you have to turn on the object snap and have the intersect of, of snap uh, activated okay so now the center of sphere will be this here okay this part here the the the, the intersection point okay Okay, so this is my sphere okay 
and now we can proceed to do our our array again okay the rectangular array so as you select object to array so this is the object right enter okay then the number in the x direction okay leave it the same everything we leave the same okay y is the same and z is the same okay and then we ask you for unit cell cell spacing so here is where you need to uh, snap this as the first uh, position and then uh, this as the second position okay so I'm not able to snap it in this mode so let's right click and set to the wireframe so that the snap works okay so I think it's easier to come over here okay so yeah can you see let's just do it over here so you can see better okay Okay, so this is the first point. Okay, then the second point is uh, this. Let me just zoom out so they can see better. Okay, so this is the second point. Okay, see? so this is the second point. So I'm using the intersect object snap to find the exact location of the points. Okay, so click on this, press enter, and yep, we have successfully created our rectangular array. Okay. Okay, now let's move on to the polar array. Okay, let me delete all this. Okay, polar array basically duplicates object in a rotational manner. Okay, so let me create the, the object to be duplicated. Okay, let's say I want to duplicate this uh, rectangular block. Okay, mm, I want to <coughs> demonstrate the polar array now. So I click on this. So ask me select object to array. So this is my object. Okay, and then ask me for center. So actually, I want this object to be <coughs> rotated about this center here. Okay, so uh, you can type 0, 0, because uh, it's actually at uh, this, this position. Okay, if you want to. So 0, 0 enter or you can manually you know click on the location if you want to and the number of items okay let's uh, set it as <clears throat> 10 okay so 10 items you press enter and then you ask you the the angle to fill so I want it to fill the full 360 degree so type 360 enter okay enter one more time to accept okay yeah so yeah, we have successfully created the polar array. Okay. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful to you. Bye.